And we will have the latest on the Trump press conference from late this afternoon when we are joined by CTV's Tom Walters live from Los Angeles in just a few moments. A glitch with the province's COVID-19 reporting system means we won't be getting specific numbers today, but Alberta's top doctor says we are seeing about 800 new cases. That would be a new daily record. And Nicole Weisberg joining us live here in studio with more. Nicole. Aaron, Dr. Hinshaw calls the steep rise in case numbers extremely concerning and says it shows that the measures the province put in place 10 days ago are not doing enough. The province limited gatherings in Alberta's COVID hotspots, Edmonton and Calgary, to 15 people. And while numbers plateaued for a few days, today a dramatic increase. Hinshaw says there's now more than 2,500 active cases in each city. Most people are being exposed at home and at private gatherings. And many who are experiencing symptoms are not staying home like they should. We are talking about at least 500 people who did not stay home while symptomatic. This is significant. I am calling on Albertans to please stop all activities if you have any symptoms. Unless our numbers decline dramatically in the next few days, we will have to consider additional measures to bring COVID numbers down in order to protect our health system. Hinshaw says contact tracers are now having a difficult time keeping up with demand, so the province is changing its approach until more can be hired and trained. AHS will only get in touch with close contacts in priority groups, including healthcare workers, families of children exposed in schools, and individuals who live or work within congregate or communal facilities. Every person who tests positive will still be contacted by AHS directly, but will now be expected to notify their close contacts themselves. Event organizers and workplaces linked to a case will also continue to be notified and are expected to contact anyone who could be affected. Nicole, did Hinshaw say what new measures could be coming if case numbers don't decrease and, and perhaps when? Erin, she would only say officials are discussing it and that if new measures are put in place, they'll be appropriate to where transmission is and to where our numbers are. All right, Nicole, thank you.